Hi, I'm Captain Dave DeMarco, and you're watching Hot Topics from the Belmont Fire Department. On today's show, we'll discuss senior safety. We'll show you department new air packs. But first up, here's Chief Dave DeStefano with his latest news from the Belmont Fire Department. Chief? Thanks, Captain. And here's the latest news from the Belmont Fire Department. Recently, the Massachusetts Department of Fire Services awarded a grant of over $6,500 to the Belmont Fire Department that will allow us to provide student awareness of fire education, or SAFE, and Senior SAFE programs to our school children and seniors. Uh, these two groups are among the most vulnerable to fires and other emergencies. Our team of dedicated instructors have provided many hours of education in schools and at the Senior Center. This program is another way that we reduce community risk through public education. In the past two months, we welcomed two new recruit firefighters to the ranks in Belmont. Nicholas Vellante and Joseph Brock completed the Belmont Division of Training and are now attending the Boston and Quincy Fire Training Academies. We've leveraged these regional resources for training in order to shorten the hiring lead time for new firefighters. We also recently participated in the Lunar New Year celebration held in Belmont Center. This was a very well-attended event, and I enjoyed participating in it. The event organizers also presented me with a case of oranges and fortune cookies as a gesture of good luck to all firefighters. The town's insurance provider, Maya, recently provided at no cost an emergency vehicle driving simulator. This simulator was brought to fire headquarters for a week-long training that provided all four working groups with a realistic simulation of emergency vehicle driving scenarios as well as classroom instruction. Also in the month of February, the fire department responded to two two-alarm fires, one on Beach Street and one on Belmont Street. The Beach Street fire occurred during the extreme cold of February 4th when the temperature went to well below zero. Although these two fires resulted in extensive damage and displaced about a dozen people from their homes, no injuries were reported. It should also be noted that during the 48-hour period of extreme cold, the Belmont Fire Department responded to over 60 calls for service, including medical emergencies, auto accidents, and burst pipes. We also recently noted the anniversary of the death of Firefighter Roland Weatherby, for whom our headquarters building is named. Firefighter Weatherby was killed in the line of duty while operating at a house fire in Belmont on March 4, 1985. That's the fire news for this update. Thank you for the continued support of your fire department. Thanks, Chief. Now let's cover some basics of fire safety. What should you do if the fire alarm sounds in your building or your home? First, grab your to-go bag and leave the building. Get out and stay out. Go to a safe meeting place and dial 911 from a neighbor's house. Wait a minute and wait for the fire department to arrive and then let them know if everyone is safe. There are two leading causes of home fires, cooking and space heaters. Cooking fires are the leading cause of home fires and fire injuries. Here's what you can do to prevent a cooking fire. Stand by your pan. Don't leave anything cooking on the stovetop unattended. Wear short, tight-fitting sleeves when cooking. Cover a pan or grease fire with a lid and turn off the heat. Baking soda also works. 148 space heater fires were reported to the Office of the State Fire Marshal between 2010 and 2019. While these fires are not frequent, they are deadly. One out of every 74 space heater fires causes a fatality. Let's talk about slips, trips, and falls. According to the CDC, every second, an older adult will suffer a fall in the U.S., making falls the leading cause of injury and death in Americans aged 65 and older. One out of every four older adults will fall each year in the U.S. Though falls are common and costly, they are preventable 
and do not have to be an inevitable part of aging. What can you do? Tell your doctor right away if you have fallen or if you're afraid that you might fall or if you feel unsteady. Review your medications with your doctor and discuss the side effects like dizziness or sleepiness. Have your eyes checked annually and update your glasses. Have your feet checked. Discuss proper footwear with your doctor and whether seeing a foot specialist is advised. Stay active. Do exercise that makes your legs stronger and improves your balance, like Tai Chi. Make your home safe. Get rid of trip hazards. Remove clutter on the floor. Add grab bars in the bathroom. Have handrails and lights installed in all staircases. We at the Belmont Fire Department are working very hard to keep seniors safe. And we have a lot of resources and programs that can help you. They include Senior Safe, our program, smoke alarm and carbon monoxide alarm installation, home safety surveys, and file of life. File of Life is a small index card about this big that you would fill out. It will give medical information and important necessary information for responders from the fire department when we come to your house. And it speaks for you when you yourself can't speak for yourself. It enables us to ascertain or get information that is important and necessary so that we can bring you to the hospital. And now we'd like to show you our new air packs. And to do that, here again is Fire Chief David DiStefano. Recently, the Belmont Fire Department placed in service new Scott air packs. These self-contained breathing apparatus, or SCBA, meet the current NFPA standards and allow us to efficiently and effectively comply with best national practices and standards for air supply management. These packs feature a 45-minute uh, air cylinder capacity, as well as quick, connect quick connections for the bottle and the face-mounted regulator. This allows for rapid connection of another air supply should the system become disabled. These air packs also have a personal alert safety system, or PASS, that will sound an audible alarm if a firefighter becomes motionless for a period of time. The shoulder straps and the lumbar support straps are also designed to allow for maximum firefighter distribution of weight and flexibility wearing this air pack. We'd like to thank the Capital Budget Committee as well as the residents of Belmont for allowing us to make this purchase possible and allowing us to keep the citizens and firefighters of Belmont safe. Thank you. Wow, we've covered a lot in this episode of Hot Topics. You can watch Hot Topics anytime on demand at the Belmont Media Center's website at the address listed below on the Belmont Media's YouTube page. That's it for today. Remember, stay safe and tune in for the next episode of Hot Topics.